Hey everyone, welcome to another round of test hands. Today we are going through the Exodia archetype. Here we go. So we've got Soldiers of Exod, Summoner of Exod, Wonder One, Left Leg of the Forbidden One, and Obliterate. So usually when you open up with Summoner of Exod, the first thing that you're probably going to do is normal summon it. And when it is normal summon, you can add an Exod monster from your deck to your hand. Let's go ahead and grab Zodia Necros. Now while you control an Exod monster, you can special summon Soldier of Ex Soldiers of Exod from your hand. Let's go ahead and do that. And we have Wonder Wand here that allows us to equip to a Spellcaster monster. We can send that equipped monster to the graveyard to draw two cards. And when Soldiers of Exod is sent from the field to the grave, we can add one Obliterate or one Forbidden One Spell or Trap from our deck to our hand. So let's grab the one that we don't have of the traps, that is Chains of the Forbidden One. And then we can use Summoner of Exod's other ability to send a card that we control from our field to the grave to special summon an Exod monster that cannot be normal summoned from our hand or grave. In this case, it would be Necros. And you might be thinking, well, doesn't Exodia Necros pop itself if it doesn't have all five pieces in the grave? Well, no, it doesn't, thanks to Summoner of Exod's other ability, where if you do summon an Exod monster through its effect, it cannot be destroyed by your card effects. its own. We would end off by setting two, maybe setting three, depending on how much you want to overextend. Let's play it safe. Set two, end our turn. So we end off with Exodia Necros on the board, which gains 500 attack every one of our standby phases, and the ability to negate an opponent's monster effect, as well as to bounce a monster on the field to the hand. Let's see what we get with our second test hand. Soldiers of Exod, Exodia the Forbidden One, Chains of the Forbidden One, Summoner of Exod, Ride Like of the Forbidden One. For purposes of changing things up, let's summon Summoner of Exod and search out the Incarnate this time. We can special summon Soldiers of Exod since we control an Exod monster, then activates the Summoner's ability to send Soldiers to the grave to special summon the Incarnate from our hand. And Soldiers' ability activates to search out one of those Forbidden One Speller Traps or Obliterate. In this case, we'll go with Obliterate. That two and end our turn. Now the cool thing about Obliterate is that it doesn't just bounce your opponent's monsters, it can bounce your own as well. So if you wanted to recycle Summoner of Exod, you could by sending one of those Forbidden One monsters from your deck to the grave, which not only powers this by a thousand, but it gets you Summoner of Exod back so you can use it again on your turn. And if your opponent gets rid of Incarnate through battle, then you have two draws that you would get from it because you have two And of course, you have a monster. So this is a bit of a culture shock because this Exodia deck isn't all about drawing a bunch of cards to try and FDK, but instead actually interacting with your opponent. What a concept. And the deck can win by either assembling Exodia in hand traditionally or by using one of the bodied forms to win through sheer force. So let us know your feedback in the comments and check out the full showcase in this card link here or in the link in the description below. And make sure you like and subscribe as we get into the next Joey monster coming up tomorrow.